Do you have uh, young clients about my yeah. age? Uh, well, I'll, yeah, pretty much anywhere between 16 and 60. Yeah. Really. yeah. What are their biggest three issues? Biggest three issues. I'm not sure. I'm not sure there are a whole bunch different for people in their twenties than people not in their twenties. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. So managing relationships. Yeah. Um. Who Who am I and what do I want? Yeah. Um. And what I think. What do I want? Yeah. yeah. And so this one, this is the one that's different. So twenty-year-olds are discovering their patterns. Yeah. Whereas people my age and older are really in their patterns. Already. Yeah. They're just like accepting most of it. Well, maybe not where they're learning. They're learning that they're doing stuff that's not so acceptable. So it's like you've done it for years in a uh, sense. But then it's kind of like it's not working. It might be an old job or it might be how you are in a relationship. Yeah. Or, yeah? It's like, oh, I've done this again. You know, or this is happening again. Yeah. And they come and they say, what's going on? With 20-year-olds, 20s, you know, get that as much because you haven't had the patterns long enough you're, to you're know. You're kind of a in a sense. In some ways, yeah. those patterns are developing. Because you're, you know, you're, you're having your first major, major relationships. Yeah. So it's not like you've had three relationships go the same way. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's, I, I think that's probably a big difference. And, and that's about learning to really hear yourself. Yeah. In a sense, so, I mean, everybody's going to make a pattern of some sort, but yeah. in a sense that you can make some better choices so you don't fall into some sort of yeah. pattern response. And also you, um, in your 20s, to do psychotherapy is much easier and getting towards a better direction mm -hmm. than later on in life because you already made those choices and decisions and you're living with them. Yes. For years maybe, it could be your marriage already. Well, you know, uh, not a lot of people know that your brain is still developing until your early to mid 20s, the executive functioning part of your brain, which is why people, not entirely, but why teenagers and young 20s tend to be more impulsive than adults because the, that kind of, that executive function that helps you make those decisions isn't quite on board yet. Wow. So if you can get in there while that's still developing and yeah. use that executive function not just to respond to what my friends want me to do yeah. and what my parents want me to do and all these conflicts, but actually like look inside and say, okay, gosh, let's back off and let's just yeah. not respond to everything all the time, yeah. but let's like, take something a little bit slow, let's think this through. Yeah. And to listen to a therapist who might be your parents' age, but isn't your parent and has no investment in you being anything like your parents do. Mm -hmm. you know? They don't care whether you go to graduate school or go to law school yeah. or become a mechanic or become yeah. a, a... So what do they care about? Getting down to what you need to be doing. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's kind of somehow... A person who is a stranger and who you are paying to spend your time with might help you much more. And uh, first thing, because a psychotherapist has no expectation from you, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you might, on the other hand, your parents or your friends might have an expectation from you, even though hidden. Mm -hmm. um, so in that sense, psychotherapists, you could be really honest about yourself and they would let you be honest and they would appreciate if you make your life choices with honesty and authenticity. Yes. Rather than your family or your friends who might want to make, uh, make you know, who might want a decision coming from you, which could be their own hidden desire for you. Yes. That's um it's like a free space to yeah. really kind of decide. Who is the person who could benefit from psychotherapy? I mean, you know, I'm biased, <laughs> obviously, but I think everybody should try it. Yeah. And I think everybody should um I think everybody should shop around. I think it's yeah. it's gonna sound a bit crazy, but it is one of the most important relationships that you will have. Really, really trust this person, really tell this person things that mm. you might not tell anybody else. So it depends where you are in the world who's listening to this. So wherever you are, you know, make sure that whoever you're talking to is qualified in some kind of way, yeah. like different registering bodies and that sort yeah. of thing. Um, call them up, talk to them on the phone. Yeah. Um, you, you will probably have to pay. Some, some will give you a free session. Yeah. You'll probably have to pay for a session, but it's worth it to get in there. It's very fair. They should answer your questions. 
clearly and honestly. Mm -hmm. What kind of training do you have? What do you believe about this? What might I be able to expect? I mean, you know, you, you, you have a right to check them out if they're completely like throwing questions back at you and, yeah. you know, making it a psychoanalysis straight away and be very wary, you know, yeah. have your questions answered, see how you feel. And then um, maybe see two or three people that way and, and then go back to the one that you feel positive. There we go. Do it. It's helpful. It's, it's awesome. It's amazing. And later on in your life, you will be so grateful.